Let's go to political party matters now. And the Orange Democratic Movement remains arguably the most vocal and the strongest opposition party in Kenya. However, ODM, the ODM we see today is a pale shadow of what Kenyans saw in the run-up to the 2007 elections. Next month, 3,200 delegates converge at Kasarani Stadium to choose ODM's national leaders in what pundits are considering a make-or-break party election. KTN's political editor Ben Kitili takes a look at the Orange Party's metamorphosis in its nine years of existence and what the forthcoming elections mean for the party. The Orange Democratic Movement was born from the massively popular grassroots crusade that campaigned against the proposed constitution in the 2005 referendum. Kenyans proceeded to shoot down the famous Wako draft with the north side that ODM supported garnering 58.12% of the vote, handing a bad defeat to the government-backed Yes campaign. The orange movement that uh, was unveiled in the referendum that finally transformed into the ODM party had such a massive attraction in the country. But in the run-up to the 2007 general election, cracks in the original ODM Kenya coalition forced a split. Raila Odinga and his team defecting and taking over a political party called ODM that was registered by lawyer Mugambi Imanyara. Odinga's rival, Kalonzo Musioka, remaining with ODM Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Pentagon. A political masterpiece reminiscent of Raila Odinga saw ODM emerge as the party to beat. The Orange Party boasted of a formidable lineup. Odinga as party leader, Musalia Mudavadi, the deputy party leader, William Ruto, Joseph Nyaga, Najib Balala, and Chari Tingilu making up the party's top organ, the Pentagon. What followed was massive euphoria that earned the party huge following across the country. Have done our party ODM some service and our members know it. No more of that. Nine years later, much has changed at Orange House. One of the key uh, stakeholders within the party, who was William Ruter, left with a big chunk. ODM is not really on the decline per se, but I think. It has uh, gone to sleep. ODM! Secretary General Professor Nyang Nyongo, former House Speaker Kenneth Morende, Chairman Henry Koske, and Franklin Bett are also not part of ODM's future plans. Uh, depending on how they conduct the forthcoming party elections, that will show us that does it really reflect the face uh, of Kenya at the moment. Suppose the delegates decide to vote in only two regions, let's say Nyanza and West, how would cost fail? Many of those seeking party positions have rejected the idea of lobbying for positions to ensure regional balance. Any party leader worth his salt or her salt will try to ensure that all the strongholds are equitably represented. The question is, can Raila Odinga steer the Orange Party to safe waters and keep it together? Party members will be hoping for a steady ship come March 2nd, in efforts to keep the Jubilee government in check, as well as prepare for 2017. Ben Kitili, KTN.